Hey y'all, I'm Misha Johnson, and I don't know how you found me uh, out of all the millions of YouTube channels you could have discovered, but you did. And God certainly had a hand in that. So this message must be especially for you. Welcome. I first step, trust me where I am leading you, because I'll prove to you that where I'm leading you is for the best. Now at this time, Abraham was probably wondering whether or not packing up his tent and leaving his family, his country, and all that he knew would be to his advantage. I'm sure he questioned it. I'm sure there were times where he very much doubted it. What was he doing? What was he thinking? And he probably felt very scared, very nervous. But God was the one who instructed him to go to this new place. And because of his faith, Abraham promptly obeyed, nerves and all. When God gave Abraham this instruction, he gave him only one step, not two, not three. He didn't show him the whole picture. He told Abraham one thing. He showed him one step. He didn't give him much explanation or details, and he didn't assure him either. He just told him where to go, expecting that Abraham was going to do what? was going to trust him fully. God didn't have to give him all the details because Abraham had faith in him. He trusted him. So he gave him one step. Now you may feel like many others who are afraid to take that very first step until you think that you can understand steps two, three, four, five, and six. If that is you, I am hoping that you will be inspired by this message to move forward into God's plan for your life, trusting him with that first step of obedience, stepping out in faith, understanding that God's will for you is revealed one step at a time. Taking that first step in trusting God will eventually build your confidence to take the next step, to take step number two, number three, number four, number five. And over time, that is how your faith will only continue to grow. You'll quickly realize that there is always solid footing beneath each step that God instructs you to take. So know this, God has an amazing plan for your life. When you put your trust in him and obey him with that first step of obedience, he will bless you in every step in his perfect way. The flip side is we can miss out on heaven's blessings if we don't obey what God has told us to do. Think about the story of Jonah. When you're praying, ask God to show you which way to go and he is going to do it. He is going to lead you. And when he does, we are to walk in that direction, even if we are scared. Fear is the opposite of faith. And we must have faith to be obedient. So even if you are feeling the feeling of fear, we move forward in faith anyways. There are times when God will be gracious enough to carry us part of the way. But there will be other times when the carrying time is over and he is going to say, now walk. God wants us to obey him, obey him quickly. He doesn't want us to argue with him for three or four weeks before making a decision, before doing something that he has asked of us to do. No. He wants us to trust him. And like Abraham, he wants you to take that first step that he's called you to take. Whatever you are wrestling with today, trust in him. The one who sees the beginning from the end, and the end from the beginning. Take that step. He will guide you and show you the way when you trust him, after you have taken that first step in faith. Proverbs 3, 6 states, in all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your paths straight, one step at a time. If you've gotten something from this message, please subscribe to this channel, share this video, and more importantly, stay close to your Father in heaven, the one who loves you so much, the key to this life and the next. I'll see you again next time.
Så försiktigt kompisar. God bless you. Hej då.